there guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This week we're going to be going over something that is um, not, nothing I've actually ever done before. Um, although I have like done sort of similar things. Um, so anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over a bit of um, creating some animated graphics uh, in regards to gravity. Um, now, I thought, this would, I, I, I thought of this the other day and I was like, hey, you know what would be cool to make something that takes on the effects of gravity, falls at the speed and increasing speed, um, acceleration going downwards, um, so on. Um, and what I want to do for that is I want to start off by importing Pygame. Import Pygame and also import random. Now this random we're going to be using later on, um, but it's useful anyway. Um, now I thought I'd make a ball that dropped from the top, hit the ground and bounced back up um, and then keep bouncing bouncing until it reached an equilibrium position at the bottom of the map. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So we're going to initialize Pi game. Um, we're also going to grab all our colors and our screen size, which we've done in previous videos. I'm sure you guys know how to do that and it's not too hard. Um, so there we go. We need white, red, and black. White for the background, red for the ball, and uh, black for the ground. Um, we, so we've got that. Now what we want to do is we also want to grab our screen um, creation. So we want to grab our screen display setter, um, our um, caption setter for our um, <coughs> for our window and we want to fill it to white. This also means then we need to update the screen so we're going to use pygame.display.flip uh, and that's going to change it to uh, white. Now we're going to grab a clock and um, the frames per second, which we've used in a previous video before as well, uh, so the clock's going to be ticking through and the FPS is going to be uh, set to 120, because that's the best frame that I found would work. Um, now what we want to do is we want to start off by running it. So running equals equals true, true with a capital, I don't know if I can even type, true with a capital T, um, and then we want to set our speed. So we want to set our speed equal to 9.81 because that is the speed and acceleration of gravity. Uh, anyone who's done physics should know that. Um, and we want to divide it by FPS. So that's going to be every frame that's going to... Um, so say we had it set to 50 frames or 60 frames a second, every frame is going to be how much it increases by... Um, and that's going to stop it from being like excessively fast. Um, it's only going to increase at the time given. Um, so say we're doing it one frame a second, we'd have it 9.81. Say we had two frames a second, we'd have it half of 9.81. Um, so like, I think that's 4.5 to 5.7 or something. So 4.7 or something. Let's just quickly have a look at this. So grab a calculator out. 9.81 divided by 2 would be 4.9. Yeah, so I was almost right. Um, that's how much we want it to be increasing every frame. <clears throat> so then we're going to get our overall speed, which is equal to um, speed. Uh, we also want to get our position of the ball. So the position of the ball is going to begin at um, a random position. So random dot randant um, between 1 and 999 because that's our screen size. <coughs> now we want to put these inside brackets just to um, uh, make it a tuple and we also want to do another random.randant for the y position so random.randant um, between 1 between 1 and um, 700 because that's around about where the board starts. Alright, uh, I just want to quickly go through and go and hold this down so we can scroll up and down a bit um, and then we want to go um, direction is equal to positive because that's what we're beginning it at it's going to be a positive position to begin with um, now I've got a new keyboard and so uh, a few of my buttons are on weird positions at the moment and I'm still getting used to it so excuse me if I type uh, the wrong symbols and stuff we then want to set up ball size equal to uh, 26 because that's going to be standard. We can obviously change that later on, but for the now, um, yeah. Um, total. Ah, that's all good. Total begins at zero. So now we want to go while 
running. So this is going to mean we can break out of it at certain times. Um, screen uh, dot fill white. Now the reason we do that screen dot fill white um, is due to the fact that if we didn't, um, we'd get a line of balls. Like it would just the line, it would just create a line or a falling ball, and it wouldn't um, erase the ball from the previous frame. Um, so we have to reset the frame, clearing it with white. Um, and then we're going to go for event um, in pygame dot event dot get <laughs> long long statement there. But we've used this prior to now. Um, if event um, dot type. Oh, sorry about that. I will just quickly close that down. Alright, um, just so it doesn't go off again, um, event.type is equal to pygame.quit, then, um, sorry that's wrong, it should be in caps, quit, um, then running equals false. And that means so the button on the top, the little uh, cross, you can click it and it will close the window. Now, next what we want to do is we want to go if event dot type is equal to pygame dot key, sorry, key down, oh, key down, then if event dot key, I think that's right, isn't it? Yep. It's equal to pygame dot r wait no k underscore r that's if we press the r button so reset we're going to set the position actually we can just grab this from up here i'm going to set the position of this um here to there all right let me just scroll down a little bit all right and that is all we need for that um, i guess we can go direction equals pause just so that it's not going up again once it um, resets because um, I realized that was a problem that I was having so if direction is equal to pause sorry pause then what we want to do is we want to go ball speed underscore speed is equal to um, equal to speed plus uh, overall speed so what that's going to do is it's going to get the speed of the ball at that position or the increase that we're getting um, it's going to add it to the overall speed and so if say it was we had 1.1 or say we had 1 and the speed of the ball is 0.5 we would go um, 1 plus 0.5 so 1.5 and then it would repeat again and go 1.5 plus 1.5 and so on and so it would grow exponentially and the ball would get faster as it falls um, now overall speed is now equal to ball speed I mean that's how we increase the overall speed all right there's probably a way to improve that um, possibly by just changing this here to overall speed and going plus equals speed maybe um, we can actually try that um, but I may not work and I may have to change it back to the way I was doing it now um, so yeah that's what we want to do we then want to update the position of the um, ball so pause equals and we're creating a new tuple for this zero so that's not going to change the y position and then we're going to go round because we can't have a float for the position of a ball um, pos one plus over uh, overall speed and that's the positive so now what we want to do is we want to grab that again we want to go down to a new line and run it
and instead of increasing we want to decrease um, we also want to change that to a uh, neg so that's going to be neg so when it's negative it's going the opposite direction um, which should be good now we can get rid of that and that will fix up all the errors that we're having um, and yeah now what we want to do is we want to check um, for the position so if pos1 is uh, greater than or equal to um, 700 minus ball size divided by 2 oh sorry not divided by 2 just ball size um, so what that's going to do is it's going to detect whether the ball is colliding with the bottom floor um, the floor starting at 700 um, for example um, and that is something that we're going to have to draw later on um, but we'll draw that at the end um, so that's if the ball is going to connect with that um, <coughs> and direction is equal to pos so this is going to stop that's going to stop it from um, if it's negative just juttering at the bottom because um, it's always considering it positive um, or always considering it below that value then it will not throw an error in case um, pos equals um, and this is where we reset the value so that it's above the ground so it doesn't go through the ground and sit in the ground like half in the ground half out of the ground um, pos 0 um, 700 minus ball size minus 1 that's going to mean the ball size minus 1 above it so there's going to be one pixel below um, the ball between the two stop them colliding and now we want to go total equals overall speed divided by 2 now this is accounting for energy loss um, so the ball being the total being um, actually that's something we need to change isn't it so for direction negative instead of it being overall speed minus we can go um, that minus that um, total equals ball speed so overall speed minus speed Um, I guess we can edit this later on as well. So if um, total is less than, sorry, less than or equal to um, overall speed, um, we also need to set overall speed to zero here. Um, actually, no, let's go back to the other way we were doing it. So. What we need to do, I don't think this is going to work this way. Uh, we need to go ball speed is speed plus overall speed. Then overall speed is equal to speed. Over all speed is equal to ball speed. Right. Now, when we get to um, the second part, we can copy and paste this over copy and paste um, and this means we can chuck a negative in here we can go uh, we can instead then go total minus speed actually so total minus speed so this means it's slowing down as it's going up and doing the opposite um, and then we can do the same for these except we can change this to total all right okay so if so now when we get down here we can go overall speed is equal to zero um, and direction is reset to negative oh my god I can't type properly all right so now when we get to here we go if total is um, less than or equal to zero because this is because we're taking off the total and direction is equal to neg so negative then what we want to do is direction is equal to pos so that's going to reset it and send it back downwards um, obviously the same way we set it up now for the pygame.draw so we're going to go pygame.draw 
So this is going to draw the ball. This is going to draw the floor. Dot rect. We want to draw it to the screen. We want to draw it as a black. And then draw it with a tuple of 0, 700, 1100. And those are the position variables that we want. So, what we can do now is we can kind of do the same thing. Um, Pygame.draw.circle. We can draw it to the screen. We can draw it in red. We can draw it at pos I mean draw it with ball size. So that's going to set it to the screen, set it to read, set it to whatever the position variable is. Um, obviously that's going to be changing throughout um, just because the ball's moving and ball size is always going to be standard to whatever we put here. Um, and then what we can do is we can go pygame.display.flip and then we can also go down here and go clock dot tick fps so that's going to um, tick through it at whatever uh, fps we set it to um, now we've got an error here there was a colon expected oh, double equals all right let's run this and see what we get so you can see oh my bad um, so you can see we got nothing on here now let's see if i can get this well positioned, hold on one second. Alright, hopefully now when we press R, we get our ball dropping. Now it's not bouncing back up. What is the problem with that? Hmm, let me just have a look. Alright, so I worked out what the problem was. So what happened was, here we need to go ball speed. So have a decreasing speed. Um, because we currently got the overall speed, which we're setting down here to zero. Meaning when the ball hits the ground, it stops. Um, so if we go ahead and run this now, um, you can't actually see that. Um, so you can see now what it is, if we press R, the ball drop and bounce, drop and bounce. And depending on the height, obviously bounces more, depending on the ground, it also depends more. Now if we decrease um, the, the O total that's being um, changed here, um, so say to 1.2, It'll bounce a hell of a lot more. Um, and you can see that it's still bouncing a hell of a lot more. Just due to the fact that I've that that value there is how much effect friction has on the gravity. Now we can actually go ahead and do this here. Effect equals one point two. Make it easier. Um, effect then now is the gravity effect or the sorry the friction effect um, and so whatever we change this to here will affect how much energy is lost due to bounce um, and you can see that it still bounces so thanks for watching the video guys um i hope you enjoyed this here uh, creating a gravity simulator um, of bouncing balls that depends on how high you drop it as to how much it bounces. Um, and I just thought it would be sort of a fun thing to do. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming guys. Um, hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Alright, hello there guys. Um, you've obviously made it to the end of the video. Uh, so you've obviously enjoyed it or had to watch the whole thing at least. So if you could consider subscribing, that would be a great help to my channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below. Um, like the video to show your support uh, to me so that I can know whether you like the content that I'm making. Um, and yeah, hope to see you in the next video. See you.